So we have discussed negative numbers, we have discussed integers and this time as we said in our earlier video that we are going to, we will discuss how to represent numbers on any number line. So let's say that you are asked to represent natural numbers on any number line. So let me take a number line where you are only representing natural numbers. So let's say you have this line and if I represent 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. It will continue. This is a representation of natural numbers on a number line. But if we have to represent whole numbers, then what we have to do is only we will introduce 0 here. Because we know that if we include 0 to natural numbers, it makes that set uh, whole numbers. Whole numbers. So this is the representation of now whole numbers. If someone asks you that now you have to represent integers and in that representation, in that representation you have to, you know, uh, make negative new integers also you have to put negative new integers also along with zero and positive integers on a number line so what you will do is you will start left to the zero and you'll write minus one here now we, we why minus one to the left because we know that integers include not only negative numbers but also zero but also zero and also the positive numbers. Since we have already placed positive numbers and zero on number line, now only we have to you know, place negative numbers on this number line. Okay, so I will write minus one to the left of zero. Now you would be thinking that, hey, where will my minus two come? Because since in while uh, writing these positive numbers, we were moving towards the right and we were increasing the numbers, right? 1 to 2, like 0 to 1, then 1 to 2, then 2 to 3, then 3 to 4. So this is actually a right direction. We are moving towards the right. But here, if I have written minus 1 here, where will my minus 2 come? So the answer is start minus 1 and then keep on writing all remaining numbers towards the left, 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 left. So minus 2 here, minus 3 here, minus 4 here, minus 5 here, minus 6 here, minus 7, minus 8 and this will continue. This will continue as much as you want to represent here on the number line. Now you have placed negative numbers or zero and the positive numbers and this is now the you know representation of integers on number line because we have negative numbers we have zero and we have positive numbers now the other point that you have to note is that minus one is greater than minus two minus one is greater than minus two 0 is greater than 1 minus 1. 1 is greater than 0. Now don't get confused. Don't get confused. It's very obvious to you that 1 is always greater than 0. 2 is always greater than 1. That you know, you know that thing. But why here minus 1 is greater than minus 2? Don't we know that 2 is greater than 1? Then why minus 1 is greater than minus 2? And that is actually, you know, the, that's the point. That the more your number gets negative, the more your number gets negative, the smaller its value become. Okay, so if your number is, let's say if it is minus 100, then minus 100 is actually less than 
minus 1. If it is minus 1000, it's actually less than minus 1. If it is minus 10,000, then it is less than minus 1. So more you move towards the left, more you move towards the left on this number line, smaller and smaller your number will become. Okay. So 1 is greater than 0, 0 is greater than minus 1, minus 1 is greater than minus 2, minus 2 is greater than minus 3. The key point is, the more you move towards the left on this number line, your number will become smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And more you become, you move towards the right on this number line, not necessarily from this zero, anywhere on this number line. If you start moving, let's say that you start from minus 7, you start from minus 7, and if you start taking jumps towards the right, if you're moving towards the right, and let's say you stop at 1. So you can clearly see that if you are jumping towards the right direction, you reached at 1. And you know that 1 is greater than minus 7 because the more you are right on the number line, the greater is your number. And let's say you move towards the towards the left. So 1 step, 10, 2 step, 3, 4 and suppose you landed at, let's say you landed at minus 11. So the more you move towards the left, smaller and smaller your number will become and therefore minus 11 is actually less than minus 7. Had it been let's say that minus 10 lakh, let's say it's minus 10 lakh. So this is minus 10 lakh, even this is smaller than 0. This is smaller than actually 1. So more your number becomes negative, that is more you move towards the left on the number line, the smaller and smaller your number will become. Now don't, don't get confused by this thing, you know, that you, more your number becomes small, um, a, a negative, more smaller it becomes. Because you would be thinking that, then what about if someone says that the temperature on any day was let's say 0 degrees Celsius. Now it became uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius and now it is let's say minus 30 degrees Celsius. So how to you know interpret it? What's actually it is telling? It's telling that on some day let's say on day 1 on day 1 if it was 0 degrees Celsius the temperature dipped down on day 2 to minus 10 degrees Celsius, on three, day 3 to minus 30 degrees Celsius, yes, minus 30 tells you that it's much cooler today. On day 3, minus 30 tells you that it's, it is much cooler than what it was on day 2, that, uh, on that day it was minus 10. Yes, this is a larger value, it tells that on day 2, it was warmer than what it is on day 3. Warmer in the sense that if you compare these two numbers, not warmer like you are sweating and all, but it's warmer if you com compare to day 2 and day 3. And even if you compare day 1 and day 2, day 1 was even more warmer than what it was on day 2. So it was on 0 degrees Celsius, though it's a, it, it tells you that hey it's winter season only, but it's only a comparison, like it's telling that it's a smaller value it tells that smaller means much smaller, lower and lower and lower the temperature is dipping down, dipping down, dipping down. It has reached to minus 30 so much so that it's very cold today. Let's take another example. Let's say that uh, in month May, in month May, you were in debt of minus 1000, minus rupees 1000. And in the month June, this debt on you has reached to minus rupees, let's say 20,000. Now someone may think, hey, we know that 20,000 is smaller than 10,000. 20,000 is smaller than, uh, sorry, minus 20,000 is smaller than minus 1,000. 
then of course it means that in the month of June I am in less debt. No, this number is smaller but this minus sign is actually telling you that hey you are in more and more and more debt like in this month of May it was your situation was much better you know you were in less debt you were in less debt but in the month of June you are actually you if you let's say you it's due on you this amount then you are in much due okay you have to pay a larger amount that is minus 20,000 is telling you that you are in a greater debt okay so don't get confused in in this thing that if your number is more and more and more minus then it means that yes it is a smaller value but in these two conditions as you can see that this tells that today it's much colder than these days because it's telling you that hey your temperature is you know too low today it's minus 30 degrees Celsius it's too low below the zero but if here it is minus 20,000 and minus 10,000 you it's telling about your debt minus 20,000 is telling you that hey you are in more and more and more debt like you are not in profit it, it's a worrying situation for you that your negative number is in you know is in much uh, is is much negative in comparison to what what it was in the month of May therefore you are in much loss actually 